So there's been a lot of talk lately about how Hollywood controls black artists. And guess what? It's not just some made-up story. Several artists have actually come forward to spill the beans. And now, Terrence Howard is joining the party. According to Howard, a man who's been in the spotlight for years, the powerful elites and bosses of Hollywood exert their influence over black artists in the most unimaginable ways. Their dark agenda involves pressuring these artists to don dresses and take on roles portraying women, perpetuating harmful stereotypes about black women in the process. Shockingly, Howard reveals that this phenomenon occurs more frequently with black men than their white counterparts, as the Hollywood machine perceives them as a formidable threat. Now here's the big question. Is Howard just talking nonsense, or is there some truth to what he's saying? Hang tight, because we're about to take a wild ride into the dark side of Hollywood and find out what's really going on. But the moral story behind it, it's, it's something pretty big. It's something okay. that I think as human beings we really need to examine right now, especially mm -hmm. within the black and urban community because revenge seems to be a hot topic on our part. Now, let's dive deeper into the juicy details of what Terrence Howard recently said. But before we get to that, let's first talk about how many other celebrities have been spilling the beans on the secret control the elites have over black artists in Hollywood. One star who isn't afraid to speak his mind is none other than Dave Chappelle. He's been one of the first to open up about how the big wigs in Hollywood put pressure on black artists to don dresses and portray women before they can hit the big time. This comedian has never been one to hold back. And if you think he's just spouting nonsense, well, think again. He actually went through this bizarre ordeal himself. In a revealing interview with Oprah back in 2006, Dave spilled the tea on why he turned down a whopping $50 million contract and hightailed it to Africa. It wasn't because he wanted to escape from money, mind you. No, he wanted to escape from the shady consequences that came with that contract. Can you believe it? But wait, there's more. Dave also shared his own personal experience of being forced to dress up as a woman when he starred alongside Martin Lawrence in a movie. Dave revealed as he walked into his trailer, he couldn't help but think he must have been in the wrong place because there was a dress hanging there. He continued to explain that he was actually forced to participate in a skit where he had to wear the dress, and the intention was for people to laugh at him rather than with him. And get this. The most shocking part is that this skit wasn't even originally part of the script. Dave revealed that this particular scene was added specifically for him, as if they wanted to single him out and make him uncomfortable. This happened to me. I'm doing a movie with Martin. Yeah. The movie's going good. So I walk in a trailer. I'm like, man, this must be the wrong trailer because there's a dress in here. <laughs> they come in. So the writer comes in. I think he's the writer. He's like, Dave, listen, we got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a prostitute. <laughs> and let's not forget to spill the tea on Kevin Hart. You remember that jaw-dropping moment when he strutted his stuff in a dress during an SNL skit, right? Well, brace yourself, because fans are all abuzz with juicy speculations that he might have been coerced into it. I mean, seriously, why in the world would he willingly subject himself to such a fashion risk? Especially after he emphatically declared in an interview that he would never fall into that kind of trap. But here's the scoop you might have missed. When Kevin Hart was asked about his take on Dave Chappelle's explosive claims regarding black men being pressured into cross-dressing, he didn't hold back. He showered Dave with respect for speaking his truth. But guess what? Kevin abundantly proclaimed that he would never, ever participate in a skit where he had to wear a dress. Now, talk about a twist of irony. We talked about this this theme going around in the black community about black comedians wearing dresses. <laughs> yeah. You you went on SNL uh -huh. and did the provision there. You caught some caught some flack for it. Do you feel like it's unfair that black comedians might have to answer for stuff that like Robin Harris doesn't have to answer for? Or? No, you know what? I was actually I was actually one of those comedians that said, no, I wouldn't wear a dress. There's no way I will wear a dress. To add some intrigue, there's another celebrity who has been quite vocal about the dark side of Hollywood, none other than the infamous Cat Williams. When he was questioned about his thoughts on Kevin Hart wearing a dress, here's what he had to say. It is possible that there isn't anything funnier than a guy in a dress. 
And if that's the case, then it might also be said that there's nothing funnier than a black guy in a dress. Okay, well, I watched all of my friends throughout my entire life be able to dunk a basketball, but not me. Now, according to Cat Williams, if you dare to resist this kind of manipulation in the industry, you'll find yourself facing a barrage of hatred, or even worse, you might end up in a coma, behind bars, or heaven forbid, six feet underground. In recent times, when Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and Jonathan Majors all posed for photo shoots, the internet quickly jumped into the tired old discussion about the supposed weakening of black men. When British Vogue released its March 2023 cover, featuring breathtaking images of Rihanna's first official family shoot with her partner, ASAP Rocky, and their son, Twitter users wasted no time expressing their opinions. Some commenters argued that the photos portrayed Rihanna as a dominant woman because she was walking ahead of ASAP Rocky in the picture, while ASAP Rocky was seen as a submissive man because he was holding their baby. They found it unbelievable that a man would agree to a photo shoot that supposedly diminished his masculinity. As for Jonathan Majors, some fans perceive him as feminine-based solely on his sitting position on a couch. While some fans interpreted this as a sign of submission, others simply believed that Rihanna, ASAP Rocky, and Jonathan Majors are comfortable with their roles and express themselves accordingly. Now let's turn our attention to the one and only Terrence Howard. In a recent interview with Revolt, the iconic actor shared his thoughts on the types of stories he believes should be portrayed by black men in Hollywood going forward. He expressed his desire for men to be depicted as men and for people to be portrayed authentically. It's a sentiment that resonates deeply with him as an actor. Terrence Howard's career has been nothing short of remarkable. He first captured our attention with his acting debut in The Jacksons, An American Dream, where he portrayed Jackie Jackson. Since then, he has graced the screen in memorable films like Hustle and Flow, Four Brothers, and gained widespread recognition for his role in the Fox television series Empire, among many other notable projects. Terrence boldly states that men, especially black men, are getting a raw deal in Tinseltown. He believes that the true essence of masculinity with all its strengths and flaws is crucial for well-rounded storytelling. But here's the twist. He claims there's a sneaky new trend that's making men appear less powerful. Well, let's just say less manly. He said, The man has been demonized. The strength and character and faults that come with a man are necessary for balance. With the new formula, most men are made to be effeminate and not have their power or sense of strength. They allow white men to be able to be strong, but when it's black men, it's seen as a threat. He went on and continued, I don't want to remove a few chromosomes to fit into someone's story, so I feel they need to expand their stories to allow men to be men and simultaneously appreciate a woman's beauty. Well, let me tell you, some fans are skeptical of Terrence's claims due to his troubled history with women. As you may already be aware, Terrence Howard's ex-wife filed a lawsuit against him alleging that he hurt her in 2013. And this isn't the first time Terrence has been accused of things like this. Oh no, way back in 2001, he got himself arrested for hurting his then-wife, Lori McComas. And if that wasn't enough, in his 2011 divorce papers, his other ex-wife, Michelle, stated that he threatened to hit her time and time again during their marriage. But wait, there's more. In 2013, Michelle even went ahead and got a restraining order against him, bringing up all sorts of allegations about their Costa Rica trip. You'd think that would have raised some red flags, right? Well, it turns out that those big shot executives, creators, and producers who worked with Terrence claimed they didn't know a thing about his history of domestic violence until December 2014. That is why fans just can't seem to wrap their heads around his claims. He's been talking about how he's changed and learned from his mistakes, but many folks are skeptical. But that's not all. Terrence has stirred the pot even further by suggesting that the most successful black artists in the industry are becoming more feminine. According to him, these talented individuals have to shed their manly image and embrace a softer, more delicate side to make it big. But according to Terrence, he will never give up his manly side just because of success. He said, My daddy taught me never take the vertebrae out of your back or the base out of your throat, explains Howard. I ain't raising sheep, I raised men. Stay a man. But being a man comes with a curse because it's not a society made for men to flourish anymore. 
Everything is androgynous, you know. The more successful men now are the effeminate. But what do you think about all of this? Was Terrence onto something? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget to stay tuned for more updates. In the meantime, be sure to catch our next video with all the latest gossip and news.